what's up guys i am black ops amazing and welcome back to another black ops 3 zombies video on my channel so today for you we have another bio this time not for a character but for morgue city now this one is probably the most interesting one we have so far for a uh, reason i will show you in just a second so if we take a look at it uh, you can see again this was released on the call of duty twitter page and they said for this while four cursed souls fought for survival in morgue city ricked off and stepped in with plans of his own so if we take a look at this and see what it says this will get very interesting. So the year, as we know, is the 1940s. We don't have a specific date for this, but we can see it's taking place in Moog City, as we know. As four newly cursed souls banded together to defy the undead horrors of Moog City, Richtofen begins to set his grand plans in motion. Armed with the knowledge gained from the Canorium, Richtofen entered the dimension with a singular goal to secure the summoning key from the possessions of the Keepers. So there's one specific word in there that... Me and, and a lot of other people have no idea what it means. Now, we will get to that in just a second, but if we take a look at it from the start. So, we have our four newly cursed souls which have been branded together to defy the undead horrors of Moog City. We know in uh, Moog City Shadows of Evil, we have our four new characters that have the mark of the beast on their hands. And their goal is to uh, try and get it removed. And we see at the end of Shadows of Evil, after we completed the Easter egg, the Keepers are about to give us the summoning key, uh, which will remove the mark of the beast off our characters' hands and help them just escape Moog City and leave there, but as we know, Richtofen comes in, takes the summoning key, our characters are basically trapped there. It then goes on to say, armed with the knowledge gained from the Canorium, Richtofen entered the dimension with a singular goal to secure the summoning key from the possession of the Keepers. Now the big word here is the Canorium. Richtofen has gained knowledge from this. What the hell the Canorium is, we don't know. Researching this, this isn't actually a proper word, so this is something that was made up by Treyarch, maybe combined with other words that actually do exist, but this whole word as a one um, is something that is made up. So as for getting a definition as to what this means, um, you're not going to get that. But what we can do is always speculate. So Richtofen has gained knowledge from this Cronorium. If you break this word down, it can actually mean a few different things, or so the separate meanings of this word are very interesting. Now, what I've done is wrote down a massive list of um, tons of different things that I think this could mean, what it could be, or who this could be, maybe. And the first thing that came to my mind, and I've tried to do a ton of research on this, and I can't find anything of it. For some reason, I remember Richtofen saying in Origins that he was reading a book that helped him to learn about time travel, or helped him to learn about something, but I remember specifically in Origins, Richtofen talking about him reading a book and him mentioning that before he goes he must not forget to take this book with him now i've been looking through quotes and origins and i can't seem to find anything about it so whether that's just me going crazy or i actually can't find this thing and it does exist but that's what came to my mind straight away but anyway forgetting that let's just get straight into it so i'm going to give you my so i'm going to give you my personal opinion on what i think this could be and then we're going to go through a few other things as well it says armed with knowledge ripped off and gained from the canorium and then the sentence after that i think also leads links into this as well because it says Richtofen then entered the dimension with a singular goal. These two words, Richtofen entering a dimension and then uh, Richtofen having this knowledge from the Canorium, I think actually go together very well. And I think that's saying in order for Richtofen to actually go to this dimension first, in order for him to go to Shadows of Evil, he needed to gain this knowledge from the Canorium. Now, if we go back to Origins, Richtofen actually mentions that he must get the vessel to Maxis. He says the same quote that he says in the Giant. We know the vessel is the summoning key. So all the way back in Origins in Black Ops 2 in 2013, Richtofen was mentioning this summoning key. He knew he had this goal of getting this summoning key to Maxis. Although back in Origins, we really wouldn't have known what the vessel actually was. Now we know Richtofen time traveled to the giant and killed himself, but before he time traveled to the giant, there was a two year gap of him going to other places. And he says this to our other characters in the giant. I walk a path no other can take. I alone can lead us to our salvation. You do not and could not understand. Maxis will find us. He promised me. I have traveled. I've seen many things, many futures, Many histories. Trust me, there is something else out there. Something worse than me. We work together. Good things will happen. So before time traveling to the giant to meet up with the other characters, Richtofen has been to other places that he doesn't let us know of. He says he has seen higher powers. He knows of things out there that are greater and eviler than him. If that's a word, is that a word? I don't know. We also know, as this bio states, Richtofen went to Shadows of Evil to collect the summoning key. But what we don't know is how Richtofen gained all of this knowledge to know how to travel between dimensions. Before, in Kino 
Desert Totem, any other zombies map, they would use the teleporters that Group 935 created. We see those teleporters in the Giant as well. But now in Shadows of Evil, you see Richtofen come out of the Rift. You see him come out of a portal and take the summoning key. But we don't know how Richtofen gained the knowledge to actually do that. How he knows how to travel just like the Keepers do. So maybe you know what I'm getting onto. But in those two years of Richtofen going missing, I think that somewhere along those lines, he learned how to do this, how to travel without the aid of teleporters, which is exactly what the Keepers can do. And so far, as we've heard before, only the Keepers can do that. But now, as we see in Shadows of Evil, Richtofen also manages to teleport without the aid of the teleporters. Now, where he learned to do this is possibly the Cronorium. The Cronorium, we don't know what that is. If it's something physical, is it a book? Is it a place? Is it a group? Is it a person? That we honestly don't know. If you break the word down, we have Chrono and then Orium. So the first part, Chrono or Kronos, if you extend it, is a mythological god. And then the M part, Orium, if you just take the I, U, M, is usually the last three letters that you would see for a element. For example, Sodium, or more specifically to do with zombies, Divinium, which is element 115. So we have a mythological god and then an element. Kronos was the leader of the youngest and first generation of Titans. I don't want to go too much into the storyline of him and, you know, his whole background, because I don't think that's what Trek were intending, but they may be using the meaning of his word to describe the meaning of whatever this word that they have made up. Simply, Kronos is an evil god. He overthrowed his father off the throne, so I don't think Trek were specifically going into the storyline of this character, but the fact that he is an evil god, they may have been using this word to represent Cronorium or Kronos as this evil place or evil book, evil group or whatever it is. Simply using the word Kronos to represent this as being something evil. So if we use that to show that this word Cronorium is to do with something evil, that now gives us a bit of a better idea of what this actually is. And like I said, the I am at the end could be elements like Divinium or Element 115, or it could be something else. An evil element, which is Element 115, I guess, that is evil, that has caused all this evil within Call of Duty Zombies. Okay, so we know Cronorium is something that's evil, not good. But like I said earlier, I don't think Treyarch really intended this word to actually means something. It was just something they made up to represent something. So Richtofen, in between those two years of time traveling from Origins to Shadows of Evil to the Giant to meet up with our three original characters, Richtofen knows or Richtofen says that he has been to many other places and seen many higher powers and greater evils than him. One of these places that he could have been to is something called the Cronorium. Like I said, we don't know if it's a place, so we don't know what it is, but let's just assume for now that the Cronorium is a place. If he's been to a place, a place of evil, then what exactly is this and what did he learn there and what is actually going on at the Cronorium? Well, I mentioned earlier that Richtofen from somewhere must have learned how to time travel without the aid of teleporters, which is exactly what we see him do within Shadows of Evil. Richtofen, before Origins, we can assume didn't know this, so in between his time of Origins and the Giants, Richtofen must have learned this from somewhere. Richtofen has this grand plan that Maxis and him are working on. Richtofen has wrote up on this paper, you can see, Right here, the, the whole plan that Richtofen is following, he knows what he's doing. From somewhere, Richtofen must have gained all of this knowledge. And that could have been at the Cronorium. Now, the only things we know that can time travel without the aid of teleporters are the Keepers, or let's say the Apothecans, because the Apothecans are what we would show or say represent evil within our Call of Duty zombie storyline. The Apothecans are the ones we are battling, whilst us and the Keepers are working together to stop them from getting the summoning key. So the evil, or as Rick Toffin says, the greater evil in our Call of Duty zombie storyline are the Apothecans. Is the Cronorium maybe a place for the Apothecans to hide out, a place where the Apothecans are living? Is it a city or a kingdom of the Apothecans? Could he have gone there to gain all of this knowledge to learn how to time travel without the aid of the teleporters? Because simply he knows that those are the only ones that can do it. Maybe he also went there to learn how to stop them, to learn what their weaknesses are, because Richtofen seems pretty assured that his mission is going to be successful as long as they follow his plans. People have also said, and I do believe this one as well, that the Cronorium is a book. Now, I said in Origins, I remember Richtofen talking about a book that he read, but I can't find any freaking evidence of it, so I'm going crazy, or I'm not, I don't know. But another book we know of is in Dirt, As and Draken. Now, Lord Spinkingham did an amazing video on this I watched about a month ago, and um, I just want to bring this up. Now, if you go down to the Undercroft, into the teleporter room in Dirt, As and Draken, you will see this book. Now, Lord Spinkingham did an amazing job on this, so I'm going to link his channel in the description, but I remember watching a video of his about a month ago now where he spoke of a book into Eisendracker 
called the Necronomicon. And if you just take those two words, start off with Necronomicon and our new word Cronorium, they do kind of sound very similar, right? But the Necronomicon is a book in the eyes of Draco that you can actually see in a few different places. And Richtofen specifically says, I believe that he has read this book before. So this is something that Richtofen has read. Now the Necronomicon contains information and images about HP Lovecraft's inventions, the Apothecans, the Shadow Man, the Swords, the Wrath of the Ancients, the Eggs, Cthulhu. The Necronomicon book contains information about all of this. And I believe it is an image of the law of the dead. Now, I believe that Necronomicon is the actual word for the book by H.P. Lovecraft, but what we know Treyarch do, as Lord Spinkingham said, he's done a brilliant job, Treyarch tend to mix up the words, and just like they've done with the creatures of H.P. Lovecraft's story, what they've done is brought those creatures in, but they've changed them in their own way and uh, named them in different ways. So, the Shadow Man, even though he was created by H.P. Lovecraft and called something else, Treyarch have used inspiration from H.P. Lovecraft, brought the Shadow Man, into the game but actually called him the shadow man instead of what hp lovecraft called him and i think that's exactly what trek have done to the necronomicon it's a book created by hp lovecraft that contains all of this information about the cthulhu mythos we can see that book exists in the eyes of Draco, but what they've done is instead called it the Cronorium. They've changed the name of it, and the Cronorium contains all of this information about the Cthulhu mythos, about the Apothecans, the Keepers, the Swords, everything you would need to know about all of this mythology that now exists in our zombie storyline is in this book, and Richtofen has read it. So is that what the Cronorium is? If we go back to this sentence that we got in this bio, armed with the knowledge gained from the Cronorium, Richtofen entered the dimension with a singular goal, and that makes sense. It does say the Cronorium, which to me makes it sound like it's actually a physical object more than a place. And if you use it with what I've just said, the Cronorium being a book that contains all of this information about the Keepers, the Shadow Man, their goals, the Swords and Shadows of Evil, the Apothecan Servants. And Richtofen tells us that he has read this book. That's what it could be meaning. The Cronorium could be the book that we find in Dur, Eyes and Dracha that Richtofen before has read to gain all of this knowledge, which will tell him every little insight to the Apothecans and give him all of this knowledge on their world so he knows the exact things that he needs to do to defeat them. A few other things people are saying is there is a book all throughout our zombie storyline that has Edward Richtofen's name on it, especially the one I believe it was in Shino Numa. If you go up to this book that says Edward Richtofen on it and you hold the interactive button, you will hear Richtofen laugh in his evil voice. What information that book contains, we don't know. There is also a book in Shadows of Evil that Nero mentions that he has read. Nero is the most intellectual person out of our other three characters, Jack Vincent, Jessica and the boxer, I forgot his name, but Nero knows the most. In fact, Nero is the one that tells us about the interdimensional convergences that are happening. An interdimensional convergence, for example, is the plane that we see coming through the sky in Shadows of Evil. Obviously, it's not supposed to be there, but because we have dimensions that are colliding with each other, most probably because Maxis is going around destroying universes, we have these dimensions which have collided. The Mob of the Dead dimension or universe has collided with the Shadows of Evil universe, hence why we can see the Mob of the Dead plane in the sky in Shadows of Evil. How does Nero know about this? It's because he mentions that he has read a book that was very, very terrifying. A book that scared him more than anything. This book was so terrifying that Nero had nightmares for a very long time. What exactly this book contained what information it told him. Well, we can assume it was about black magic. Nero, after being a failed magician, started to read up about black magic, maybe to get better at it, maybe to be a better magician, maybe to cheat, we don't know. But however, because Nero is a failed magician, he started to read up about black magic and that book contained information that was so horrifying to Nero. It contained information about the Apothecans and their whole goal to take over Earth and what they had done before that it scared Nero. But however, it gave him all of this information about their world, about interdimensional convergences and other stuff like that. Another theory, one I don't really believe, is that maybe Richtofen has also read into this as well. I'm just going to put it out there, but for me that one doesn't really fit in. But I think the first two about Richtofen maybe going to a place called the Cronorium definitely works. And the giant, like I said, Richtofen mentions he has seen things that are a lot more powerful than him, things that are greater evils. Where exactly has he seen these? Well, the first thing you could say is in Shadows of Evil, the massive alien and the keepers he sees in the sky but you also have to question the fact that is it weird that Richtofen turned up to that location specifically? Is it weird that Richtofen knew the exact point in time that he needed to go to in Shadows for Evil to collect the summoning key? He seems to just come straight out of the rift 
get it. He doesn't seem surprised that any of this is going on and he goes straight back. It's like Richthofen knew this exact event was going to happen. So once again, he must have learnt about that somewhere. He must have learnt about that at the Cronorium or in the Cronorium, whether this is a place or a book. I definitely think it's one of the two. If it's at the Cronorium, like he says, he's seen greater evils than him. He could have seen them at the Cronorium. If this is a place of worship or a kingdom of the Apothecans, Richthofen could have teleported there. In those two years between Origins and the Giant, he could have teleported there to learn about the Apothecans, to learn about time travel without the aid of teleporters, to gain all of this information. Because you have to admit, Richthofen is very secretive. He doesn't want to tell us where he has been. Whereas the other characters, or at least Dempsey, he says he's been to Brazil and maybe other places. But Richthofen seems to be very secretive and he doesn't want to let us know. So like I said, I think that definitely could be another possible explanation. The Cronorium is a place, a kingdom of these Apothecans that Richthofen has been to to gain all of this knowledge. Or simply the Cronorium is a book, maybe the one in Der Eyes of Dracula that Richthofen has read, once again to gain all of this knowledge about time travel and how the Apothecans work their world and what he must do to defeat them and make sure that his goal is going to succeed. Either way, I don't think it really makes too much of a difference as to which one it actually is, if it's a place, if it's a book. I don't think it really makes too much of a difference, but what is important out of that is that he has gained all of this knowledge from the Cronorium, this evil thing, which has allowed him to go to Shadows of Evil, collect the summoning key, know exactly what is happening there. It's allowed him, or I would presume it's allowed him, to gather the knowledge to know how to teleport without the aid of teleporters. And more importantly, it's gave him the knowledge on what he needs to do in order for his plan to be successful. So there we go, guys. I'm going to leave you on that one. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments section below because it's something we've never heard about. And I think we will be hearing more about this Cronorium within the future of our zombie storyline. It should be very, very interesting. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what the future brings because this storyline is looking very interesting right now with everything that they are bringing into the game. Honestly, I cannot wait. If you have enjoyed the video, a like rating would be really appreciated. It's taken me an awfully long time to do this video. And God damn it, it's sunny outside right now. I want to go out. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you there, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. God damn it. It does take one second to drop me a like rate. And if we go for a goal of 1,115 likes for zombies, I don't know if we could do that. Um, that would be awesome. I'm going to give you guys a free free hug, free high five, free thumbs up, free, free and, uh, anything you want. Thank you for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button for more daily zombies videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. And goodbye.